Mic check. Mic check, one, two. Hey, yo. <laughs> we about to just go ahead and get this shit started. So, I uploaded a fucking video um, about the nigga Delonte West and shit. I saw him one day while I was doing DoorDash. Saw him on Richmond Highway in Virginia. Um, motherfucking, um, I'm picking up an order from, from Denny's. He see me come out to fucking Denny's and like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> But backstory to that whole video, you know what I'm saying? Or another story, the next day, very next day, swear to God, very next day, I pull up to the 7 Eleven on Richmond Highway. It's like probably like 11, 11 30, something like that. I'm, I'm just sitting in the car because I'm trying, I'm just like really just waiting for some, some orders to come through. I'm still doing DoorDash or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting. I'm about to go in, give me a little roller because you know how I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go get a roll up. Here come this nigga walking to the car. I'm, I'm like, oh shit, what's up, boy? So I dad him up, whatever, whatever. Let me tell you how this nigga wrapped me up for like 20 minutes just to say, let me get let me get $50. He was talking about a whole bunch of shit. It, it got to the point where it was just like, what you really saying, bro? I don't, because it was getting to be like inaudible and shit. Like, I couldn't hear what the fuck he was saying. And then he starts saying, like, this nigga LeBron, yeah, like, this nigga the best. He worked hard on this net. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but then it got to the point where he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It would be real cool if you just fuck with a nigga like $30, $40. <sighs> Me being a nigga I am, you know what I'm saying? Because I got the bread. Why not? The nigga ass. <laughs> hey, that's just the head. I'm that type of nigga. That's how I live. Like, if you ask me and I got it. It's an odd obligation I had, I have, bro. It's, it's weird. It's, it's weird. It's weird. If I don't got it, I don't got it. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm to the point. I'm, I don't know. Like it'd be weird. Like if a nigga come to me talking about saying, "Let me get a quarter," because they be doing this shit all the time in Philly, bro. <laughs> let me get a quarter. Let me get fifty cent. Let me get a dollar. Nigga came up to me the other day talking about saying, "Let me get a dollar." Get out my face, man. <laughs> You better off asking for 40 or 50, you know what I'm saying? Because you actually walk around. Asking me for a dollar is kind of stupid. You're wasting both of our time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm the type of nigga, if you ask for more than $20, I'll probably fuck around and give it to you. Don't ask me for no change, nigga. You're not going to get it. I'm not about to reach in my pocket just so you could be blessed. I'm just my... I hate to say it like that, bro, right? Because I love blessing niggas. I'm all about that. But at the end of the day, you don't need 50 cents. Leave me alone. But anyway, <laughs> I'm like, all right, nigga, I got to get the cash first, though. Let me go into the 7-Eleven, get this little cash right quick, and I got you whatever the case may be. So I go to the 7-Eleven. Now, me, and you know, <clears throat> matter of fact, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say I'm keep my shit to myself. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, I had a couple extra funds, and I was like, yeah, get whatever you need, whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, I'm waiting at the counter for the ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get uh I'm about to get some cash taken out from the register and shit. I'm about to get some cash for the ball. He come back with two big ass ice house drums. Two big ass ice house beers, bro. I'm like, I ain't really say nothing. I had to look at him. I was like, yeah, I know what this is. This nigga, this this nigga out of out of pocket. He ain't got no brain. He ain't got no sense. He went from panhandling to yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I got my beers now. That nigga, he an alcoholic. He an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad because he got, I don't even know if it's sad, but it gets to the point where it's just like, damn, you really, you really could do something else with yourself, bro. At this point in life, you really can, he could walk on any court and at least get paid 100000 just for sitting on the bench. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get paid 100000 just for being sober. You know what I mean? Just for, you know, interacting with your children and shit. He was talking about his kids, too, bro. It was weird. I'm like, damn, you got Sherman. They all in Dallas. Y'all know he used to play for the Mavericks and shit. Shout out to Mark Cuban, too, because he tried to get that nigga's smoke. But, you know, <laughs> one thing I know, boy, one thing I know, one thing I know, you can lead a hole of water, but if that motherfucker don't want to drink, mm, mm, mm. <sighs> But anyway, he was talking about his kids. And I kind of felt some type of way because it was like, damn, like you, you out here ain't got no fucking goddamn sense. You got children. Like they need, they need somebody to like look up to. They need inspiration. They need to know how to move around in this motherfucking world around here. You know what I'm saying? It's a big wide old world. The motherfuckers out here 
being alcoholics and being homeless, and they got children to fucking be responsible for. <sighs> anyway, long story short, he bought the beers. You know what I'm saying? Bought the beer, it fucked me up. <clears throat> I thought he was about to go on his way, but then he started asking for more bread. He was like, yeah, you give me 50 extra dollars, you know what I'm saying? I can get you 120 by tomorrow. What the fuck am I doing $120 actually, bro? Put gas in my car, nigga? I don't really need $120 just for giving you $50. So he, I already knew it was a scam. This nigga, he need help. So if y'all see him, bro, if y'all see Delonte West, number 13 for the Mavericks, hey, help him. Help him. Help him. You ain't even got to give him money. You ain't got, but I'm not taking nigga. I give you money that way you can walk around. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But help him. He really need help. You know what I'm saying? Give, you know, send him to a, a, a I don't want to say rehab, but you, ah, shit. Give him, like, some inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Send him to, like, a church or some shit. I had this idea in my mind. This nigga, he going to be a part of my church league. He going to be a part of my church league, and we going to bust everybody's ass. <laughs> but I ain't seen him in a little while, though. I ain't really been around that way. I don't live, in, I don't live on that side of uh, uh, Alexandria. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what I mean? I was definitely trying to have this nigga on some, on some uh, recovery type shit. But I don't know. He just left a bad feeling in my heart, bro. He just left a bad feeling in my heart. Like, he just out here just, just, just dead to the world. Just dead to the world at this point. You know what I'm saying? Raging alcohol, if you ask me. No, no sense. No sense. I'm, I'm, I'm on some shit like I want to get this nigga sober so he can at least get back into the big three. You know what I'm saying? But long story, even shorter. <laughs> I tell you, I gave this nigga a ride because he just just so happened to hop in the ride. I was like, all right, nigga, I'll take you home. Good thing it was like literally two minutes away. Like it was literally like right right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So drop him off, whatever. Whoop de whoop. He ended up getting me some weed. You know what I'm saying? My punk ass ended up getting fifty dollars. <laughs> That's because I ain't broke. Fuck it. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't even want to say I got played, but I probably did get played. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't get played. I ain't get played. You know what I'm saying? I was just helping a brother out. Um, and he's sick. You know what I'm saying? He need our help. He need our help. So if y'all see Delonte West running around, man, help him out. Give him a ride home. Give him a ride to the clinic or something. I don't know. Don't buy him no beer. None of that shit, man. None of that shit. I only, I only did it that one time because it just kind of caught me off guard. We was already at the fucking register. <laughs> he told, he bought two big ass ice house. Yes. Yes. Or something like that. The the black can with the, the white letters and the blue in it. Something like that. <sighs> so that's the backstory to the video that I posted a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Poor thing, poor thing. You know, I just, I honestly just wish he wasn't in the situation. And I honestly hope I can do something to change his life. You know what I'm saying? That's all I really got to say. So, stay tuned, nigga. Stay tuned, because your boy, he coming through. Matter of fact, I'm going to post a happy birthday song. I'm going to post a happy birthday song today. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, brother, he like to do music and write songs, shit like that. So, you know, y'all get a chance to hear a little something. Peace.